Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy and use Metal LB on bare metal Kubernetes cluster. Metal LB is a load balancing solution that you use on your bare metal clusters which provides you with load balancing solutions. So you can expose your deployment through load balancers uh, with the help of Metal LB. So if you're running this in a cloud provider, like if you're using um, the AKS cluster in Azure or EKS cluster in AWS or GKE cluster in Google Cloud, you don't have to worry about metal lb because when you expose a service as load balancer type it's automatically going to give you a load balancer if you're with one of those providers so this video cube 33 which i did about a year ago is still relevant the process is still relevant but anyway i just wanted to revisit this video and see if anything has actually changed i've got a kubernetes cluster running uh, the kubernetes cluster kubernetes version that i'm using is version 1.20.1 kubectl get no Nodes minus O Y with one master and two worker nodes. This is based on my vagrant environment running on Ubuntu 20.04, and all these nodes are using container D as the container runtime and not Docker. Let's first create an Nginx deployment. kubectl create deploy Nginx minus minus image Nginx kubectl get all. Okay, so the Nginx container is getting created and we can expose this deployment as a service so that we can access this uh, Nginx deployment from outside the cluster. kubectl expose deploy Nginx minus minus port 80 minus minus type load balancer. Okay, so that service is created and if I do kubectl get all now, Nginx pod is running fine but the service, Nginx service Service of type load balancer is pending because it doesn't know how to provision a load balancer because I'm running this on bare metal on a virtual machine environment. That's why we need metal LB in these type of situations. So let me delete that service. kubectl delete service nginx. Let's leave the nginx deployment running. Right, so that's running fine. Now I'm going to deploy Metal LB. Okay, so if I open up the Metal LB documentation, Metal LB, a bare metal load balancer for Kubernetes. Okay, going to the installation link. Before starting with installation, make sure you meet all the requirements. Okay, so what are all the requirements? Let's see. A Kubernetes cluster running 1.13.0 or later. Definitely, I'm running 1.20.1, which is the latest as of recording this video. A cluster network configuration that can coexist with Metal LB. So this is the overlay network, the container network interface, the network add-on. So in my case, I'm using Calico. I used to use Flannel, but nowadays I'm using Calico. And let's take a look at what, what are all the supported network add-ons. These are the list of network add-ons that are supported and tested by Metal LB. Okay, so if you're using Flannel or VMNet, they're also supported. So that's fine. Some IPv4 addresses for Metal LB to hand out. Okay, so what am I going to use is if I show you my network interfaces, so VBoxNet is in the range 172.16.16.1 slash 24 network. So that's my virtual network interface for VirtualBox. And all my Kubernetes nodes are in that range, kubectl get nodes. So 172, 16, 1600, 101 and 102. So basically I'm going to assign a set of IP address in this network, okay? So I've got a little tool called SIPCALC. SIPCALC and if I do SIPCALC and the network that I want to um, analyze, 172, 16, 16, 1 slash 24 in my case, and I can see the network range is 172 16 16 0 through to 255 and the usable IP address range is from 1 to 254 so I'm going to grab like 10 to 20 IP address in this range that's not actually used by my Kubernetes worker nodes and assign it to Metal LB so I've got the IP addresses that I can hand out to Metal LB when using BGP operating mode I'm not using BGP mode I'm using layer 2 so I don't have to worry about that traffic on port 794 Four, six must be allowed between the nodes okay so I don't have firewall running between my worker nodes and master nodes so I don't have to worry about it but if you're running firewall if you're having firewall on all your nodes make sure to open 7946 just between the nodes in your Kubernetes cluster okay fine before we deploy metal LB we need to do one important step so if you're using kube proxy in IPVS mode then they recommend us to enable strict ARP mode by adding this 
option strict ARP is set to true. So that's required. But first we need to verify if we are running QProxy and whether we are running QProxy in IPVS mode. How do we verify that? kubectl minus n cube system get all okay so that's in the cube system namespace i can see cube proxy and the cube proxy is a daemon set and it runs on all the nodes so we are definitely running cube proxy and there must be a configuration file for cube proxy which is stored as config maps in kubernetes kubectl minus n cube system get config map and you can see the cube proxy config map let's take a look at that kubectl minus n cube system describe config map cube proxy pipe that to less and if I search for mode okay so mode is set to null so we're not actually using IPVS mode and if you scroll above under IPVS it says strict ARP is currently set to false so as per the documentation it it says if you're using Q proxy in IPVS mode which means if you see this line here mode is set to IPVS then under IPVS you should enable strict ARP to true so in our case mode is null so we are not using IPVS so we don't have to change the strict ARP to true so we can safely ignore that prerequisite step okay so that's done now we're gonna go to the installation of metal LB so there are basically these three commands so the first command creates namespace okay kubectl apply minus F and there is this URL that contains the the manifest so I would generally advise not to apply any YAML files directly from the internet without having now uh, without looking at it first okay so it might contain anything so basically if you are deploying this in your production don't just blindly run this command make sure to look at what's inside this YAML before running it okay so let's copy that URL and use curl and point that to less and see what's inside that YAML so basically it's simple nothing fishy it's just creating a namespace called metal LBC system so I'm fine with that let's go ahead and run that command kubectl apply minus f that's done and if I do kubectl get namespace we have the metal lb system kubectl minus n metal lb system get all at the moment we don't have any resource the next command is deploying the metal lb component okay so again I'm going to look at what's inside the yaml before actually running it curl minus s Point that to less okay so there's a port security policy and then we have a service account called controller another service account called speaker and we have a cluster role another cluster role and a role role cluster role binding role binding a daemon set and a deployment that's it okay let's run this command now paste and run it now let's take a look at what's inside the metal lb system namespace kubectl minus n metal lb system get all controller is a daemon set sorry deployment and speaker is a daemon set all right the speaker component which is a daemon set seems to have some problem create container configurer so basically there's some problem okay let's go back to the documentation on first install only basically we need to create this secret we need to deploy this secret so once you deploy the secret secret created and then you will see that the speaker components will run fine minus n metal lb system get all these are all running fine okay cool Perfect. So we've deployed Metal LB. There's one final step. We need to uh, create a configuration map so that Metal LB knows what range of IP address, what IP address it can hand out to the services. So that's basically done from here. Define and deploy a config map. So basically there are three types of configurations. Layer 2 configuration which is the simplest one which I'm going to use in this video. And there is also BGP configuration and advanced configuration. Layer 2 configuration. It's quite simple. I'm just going to copy this config config map vi temp metal lb dot yaml and paste it all right so it's a config map and i'm going to change the address range from 192.168 range to 172.16.16. okay so let me open up another terminal if i do sip calc 
172.16.16.1 which is my um, uh, network range for the Kubernetes cluster. The usable range is 1 to 254. So I'm going to pick up the last 10 IP addresses 172.16.16.240 to 172.16.16.2. .16 All right, save that, close this, and let's apply this. kubectl create minus f temp metal lb dot yaml. Okay, that's done. So now we are good to test our nginx deployment. kubectl get all. Okay, so that's running fine. So now if we create a service of type load balancer, we should be handed out a load balancer IP address by metal lb. Let's try that. kubectl expose deploy nginx type is load balancer. That's done kubectl get service there we go so now we've got an nginx service of type load balancer and you can see we've got an external ip which is the ip address in the range that we specified in the metal lb config map 172.16.16.240 is the first ip address in that pool of ip address cool so now we can test whether we can access our nginx pod through this ip address all right, so I've got W3M, which is a terminal based uh, web browser. I can do W3M 172.16.16.240, which is the IP address, load balancer IP address. Cool, welcome to Nginx. I can see it, that's running fine. Perfect, all right, kubectl get all. Let's try and deploy another Nginx and see if we get another load balancer IP address. kubectl create deploy nginx minus minus image nginx obviously we need to change the name we can't have two deployments with the same name let's call it nginx2 kubectl get all that one is getting created it's still getting created all right let's expose it kubectl expose deploy nginx and this time we're going to expose the nginx2 deployment as type load balancer cool kubectl get all. All right, so our second deployment is also running fine and you can see now the load balancer IP address is the second IP address from the from that list. So we had the IP address from 240 to 250 allocated for metal LB. Let's verify if we can access w3m 172.16.16.241 and again I can access it. I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then keep learning and keep on learning. Bye bye.